So, if you were playing, if you were playing Romeo or Juliet, every night you would have to let yourself fall in love with the other one. And every night he or she is going to die. <laughs> You're a smart person. You know this. You've been rehearsing it for weeks. <laughs> and yes, if you let yourself, if you let yourself know that she, he is going to die at the end of the play in such a way that you protect your heart and don't really let yourself fall in love. The play is not going to work. But can you imagine an actor going through that in the balcony scene? They're going sort of, ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you know that at the end of the evening, in a, you know, three hours, you're both dead. <laughs> so as an actor, you actually know that thing really, really well. You know perfectly well that if you, if you don't let yourself really fall in love with it. Uh, I don't know whether you, I mean, you know, there's the Descartes question about is it you or is it the character, but, but you know, you've been acting long enough. There is a way in which you really are letting yourself have these emotions, fall in love in that moment. And yet you know perfectly well at the end of the day you're both dead. Um, so how do you do that? It seems to me that the way you do that is something like uh, there's this character. What's, what's, her, what's the name of the character in um, in Camino Real who, who gets renewed? Esmeralda. Esmeralda gets to be a virgin every new moon. <laughs> That that is the experience that actors, actors get to be virgins night after night after night. You cannot let the fact, I mean, one of the, so I, I talked before about the problem of being a human being is that you're born dependent. There's that problem. The other big problem of being a human being is that you can see the future. A real terrible horrible thing about being human is that um, unlike other animals, human beings can see, and not just a little piece of the future, human beings know about death. And um, they make up all kinds of myths to make it a little easier. Or, but even if, even people who have myths about death, uh, I think death is scary. There's this scary thing that's going to happen to all of us, um, and it's out there. Uh, and yet, one, if you let that be all you think about, you will be really fucked up. Um, but it doesn't work to pretend that you don't know. Or rather, it works for some people, but I don't think it works uh, for intelligent actors. You can't pretend that you don't know that Juliet's going to die. Um, so how do you negotiate that? And I think it's a big, big question. And I think that acting is this wonderful uh, practice space in which to negotiate the fact that the only way to survive the situation, which is the situation that on the one hand you know that death is in the end, and on the other hand, it will fuck you up royally if you spend your time concentrating on that, is to let yourself live with a broken heart. 